So welcome back guys. On the last video we did, well we started on a pretty extensive remodeling project for the living room here and we ran into some pretty serious issues here in our wall. So this is covered up with plastic right now but you can still kind of see we've got some fairly extensive termite damage in these walls in a couple of different places and on top of that we need to reframe this window right here so it'll accept a couple of nice brand new windows. But the problem of course is that this is an old house or at least it was built with fairly old materials materials so these are not standard two by fours like you would pick up at home depot these are true two by fours these are exactly two inches by four inches or at least close it's actually pretty crude how this stuff was milled but we need to make some two by fours that we can't get at a big box store so we're going to go grab some lumber or we're going to grab some logs and we're going to convert those logs into some lumber that's going to fit in these walls A few months ago, I cut down a few lightning strike pine logs, and there is a video on the channel about that if you want to check it out, but this is kind of what's left over here. I didn't mill up all of the logs that came off of those trees because I really didn't have a use for them at the time, but now's the time. I need a minimum of eight feet on these. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that's great. We've got nine feet, just almost nine feet, so that'll work just, just perfectly fine. This log is quite small. It's only about eight inches, just a shade over eight inches, eight and a quarter, something like that. Uh, and I was hoping I could get two two by fours, two true two by fours out of this log, which that with an eight inch log, that's pretty hopeful I'm afraid and I've also got it the wrong way on the mill so I'm at the base of the mill or the foot of the mill the head of the mill is back up that direction and you're really supposed to have your small end towards the head of the mill it's much easier that way and you get your most efficient sawing when you have your log set up like that but that's just not how it worked out and I'm not going to flip it around now so let's go ahead and saw into it and see what we can get
Well, for some reason, I was thinking that I needed a four by eight in order to produce two two by fours out of that log. And that obviously makes absolutely no sense at all. I'm not sure what was going on up here when I thought of that. But as you can see, that turned out really good. We got four two by fours out of that log. Three of them are just a shade under four inches, but they'll do. And I did the thickness on these just a little bit under two, just so I could come out with three uniform thickness boards on that. And then this one, I was able to save from the offcut pile, from the slab pile. It's not nearly as thick. It's just a little under an inch and a half, uh, but it'll still be fine for a purlin or something like that. So on, on these two by fours, the thickness is not quite as important as the width. You need four inches in order to be able to fit these things inside of the existing walls. But the thickness, as long as you got an inch and a half or so, uh, you should be fine on that. So yeah, that worked out really well. Four two by fours out of that log. Let's go get another one, see if we can do it again. I guess this was the log that fought back. It did not want to get on the mill. So this one is pretty small too. We're looking at actually about seven inches on the diameter on this one. So, uh, and then I actually did, I was able to get the small end towards the head of the mill this time. So we probably will have a little bit easier time sawing this one. Let's see if we can get out of it.
Well, here's another instance of I'm not quite sure what I was thinking. This one didn't turn out so great either. I only got two out of this one. Well, actually the last one turned out pretty good. This one didn't turn out so good. I got two out of this one. I should have gotten three, but I made at least a couple of miscalculations on this log and this is how it turned out. But either way, two really nice, true two by fours. Um, so better than letting the log sit on the ground, I suppose. So that's great. Let's get, let's get one more. And uh, I think that'll do it for this video. Why was my camera on a limb? Yeah. Cause limbs make good tripods sometimes. Oh. Don't you think? Yeah. What did you ask? Why where do I in and I fit right here? No. Why? Cause you'll fall off and get squished. But I'm the dude. You gonna grab your pants? Yeah. How's that gonna help you from falling off? What if the tire grabs your foot? What would you do then? Then you would start off the chatter and I will do and then go boop. <laughs> right up under the tractor. No, not way right under the tractor over there. Oh, you'd run away from the tractor? Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't you just sit in my lap? Sound good? Okay. Hey buddy, check this out. I just pulled some bark off of that log and it's got termites all on it. You wanna go see if chickens like termites? Let's go. You know how to open the door? Don't them out, oh, Don't let them out. All right, let's see if they like them. They do like termites. Come on, eat them. No. No eggs. Those are all dummy eggs, aren't they? Yeah, this all dummy eggs. How many eggs do we get this morning? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, just four. Don't fool. It is four, which was good. All right, come on out. Now this log is the biggest one yet. This one is gonna be 10 inches wide. So that's uh, that's pretty good. I'm hoping we can certainly get four out of it if I'm careful. I hadn't been very careful today, unfortunately, but I probably can get four. And if we're lucky, maybe we can get five. Let's just see.
think I'm going to have to stop predicting how much lumber I can get out of certain logs because it hadn't gone that well today. Uh, we got six out of this one, six really good two by fours, and there's two one buys up under here, um, which is pretty cool. But uh, that turned out great. Two four inch cans, six two by fours. Uh, that gives me 13. 13 true two by fours out of those, what do we do, three logs? Three very small logs that were just laying on the ground collecting termites. So that's really good, uh, that's really good. Some of this has got a fair amount of weighing on it, of course, but that's not a huge deal. I can cut some of it off if I need to and use it as purlins. Um, I'm not sure if that'll be enough for that wall or not, but that's a really good start either way. I'm also really happy with the performance of these lights that I put in not too long ago. I use a GoPro 8 for filming, and for what it is, it does a really nice job, I think, of making videos, but the light um, absorption, I guess you could call it, it doesn't take in a ton of light. It's not that great in low light situations, and I think that these lights have supplemented that pretty good. I also found some more pine beetle larvae in some of that. Let's go see if the chickens are interested. Some of y'all are probably Probably wondering why I'm milling up this buggy stuff to put in the house well the termites that we saw earlier termites don't live apart from their colony once you separate a termite from its colony it can't live on its own and it's gonna die and there's not any termite activity in our house because we've got those bait stations and that's pretty well annihilated all of the termites around the house area um, these beetles right here these pine beetle larvae uh, they're not gonna survive either number one it's larva that'll possibly eventually turn into a beetle but once they that wood dries out they really don't have a habitat to live in anyway um, this wood's not gonna stay buggy and these are not gonna be a threat to anybody Well guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I really appreciate y'all watching. I pretty well did what I came to do. I got a, quite a few true two by fours to start rebuilding the walls in the house where the termite damage is. That should be on the next video. Also have to frame up a window, a window sill, window frame, whatever you wanna call it. Put a couple of brand new windows in uh, during this remodel. So that was really good progress and I really appreciate y'all watching and I'll see y'all on the next one.